This weekend, you can enjoy the fastest show on two wheels at Circuit of the Americas. MotoGP is back for three days of motorcycle racing, and the live action starts tomorrow. Fox 7 Austin's Tierra Newbaum is at the track with details. I'm here with Cameron Bobier. He's an American racing team rider, and you're back in the U.S. Cameron, what does it feel like to be back on your home soil? What are you looking forward to this weekend? Yeah, it feels amazing. You know, I grew up, uh, yeah, well, I grew up racing, obviously, in the U.S. I uh, went to spend some time in racing in Europe, and uh, I've been racing here the past 10 years in, uh, in Moto America. So this is my first year back in, uh, back in Europe racing in the MotoGP paddock in Moto2, and uh, it's incredible, you know, but uh, I definitely miss home, and uh, and yeah, that's what that's what's so cool about this week. And I, I get to race, you know, in front of my, you know, my uh, the American crowd and uh, just be back rolling out on a, on a track I'm familiar with, uh, which hasn't been the case all year. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting out on track Friday and uh, yeah, get, getting through the weekend. We're so excited for you. Five time Moto America champ. You know, what's the preparation like for this weekend? And uh, what's your message to someone who's never experienced MotoGP to come out and see the action that you guys are going to show? Yeah, it's uh, it's been like I said, it's been a pretty, pretty tough year, just like learning some new tracks and uh, Last time I was in Europe was was 11 years ago. So so uh, yeah, rolling out on new tracks I'm not familiar with and trying to get up to speed with with you know the best guys in the world. It's been really tough, but luckily I have an amazing team in American Racing that's uh, gotten me comfortable. And uh, and yeah, you know I I really think uh, the the past we haven't been here in, in, since 2019. So uh, yeah, the Americans haven't haven't seen the MotoGP guys ride in, in a couple years. Um, and yeah, I really think they should come out. It's it's uh, it's a pretty impressive, you know what what uh, what these guys do on these bikes, and uh, and they truly are the best in the world. You know the Moto3 class, the Moto2 class, and the MotoGP class. They all ri race so close with each other, and they're banging elbows, and and yeah, especially the MotoGP boys. They're going 220 miles an hour down the back straight, so it's pretty. It's pretty crazy. That's <laughs> wild. Okay, you, I'm geared up in one of your suits here today. Kangaroo leather. We learned about these this morning on Good Day Austin. You guys have an uh, airbag built into these suits. So, um, you know, how does this really keep you guys safe out there? Yeah, the protection has come a long way, along with, you know, helmets, suits, boots, gloves. Um, you can see right here, my airbag isn't turned on, but uh, yeah, this is, it, it shows, it's a green flashing light and it shows it's active and it has like full, full rib, wow. uh, rib protection, shoulder protection, collarbone protection. And uh, it's definitely saved me a time or two. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible stuff. Well, good luck this weekend, Cameron. Action kicks off here at Circuit of the Americas tomorrow with practice. We've got qualifying on Saturday and a big race day on Sunday. You don't want to miss it. You can find the schedule and uh, tickets at circuitoftheamericas.com. Reporting in East Austin, Tierra Newbaum, Fox 7 Austin News.